Hi, I'm Dr. Tokam San. I'm a specialist orthopedic surgeon. I work in a group of uh, orthopedic surgeons in Orthopedic International, both in Mount Alvernia Hospital and Glen Eagle Hospital. My name is Dr. Gerald Tan, and I've been a family physician for the past 15 years. And I have a special interest in regenerative medicine for the last seven years, especially with the use of visco supplementation for protecting joints from osteoarthritis. I've been an orthopedic surgeon for almost 20 years and through these 20 years I have been interested in the aspect of osteoarthritis, especially of the knee and shoulder because I find orthopedics to be such an exciting and actually even, even biblical, make a lame person walk again. This is something so inspiring to me, especially to see a person who is on wheelchair or who is limping and able to walk and have a normal life. And this I find very enriching because I've seen so many happy faces. So many people able to enjoy their life again through some of the interventions that we do. As far as osteoarthritis is concerned, which is the wear and tear of the joint, where the cartilage is being worn out to an extent where bone and bone rubs against each other, causing significant pain. There are a few aspects of osteoarthritis which some patients are more predisposed to osteoarthritis. For example, a patient who has bow legged, who is obese, who has previous trauma to the knee joint, or who have certain injury to the joint cartilage. And these are the people who will be prone to osteoarthritis. I think osteoarthritis is going to be a bigger problem in the years to come. Because as you know, Singapore is an age, has an aging population and the proportion of those above 50, 60s is proportionally going to be higher. So we are going to have patients coming in a lot with knee pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, and this will have great impact on the delivery of service here. Prior to visco supplementation, I've been giving painkillers and giving steroid injections for knee problems. The steroid injections are merely anti-inflammatory and it does not regenerate the cartilage. In fact, it's known to thin out the cartilage. Uh, and hence, the patient cannot go through steroid injection more than four times in their lifetime. As compared with uh, the surgical option, I usually tell my patients I would use visco supplementation as a first-line treatment to help prevent further wear and tear that they may avoid surgery. I would also look at, into the cause of the operation. The operation would generally cost about $20,000, whereas for visco supplementation, over a period of say 10 to 15 years, the cost would be probably around 5000 I have been using Monovis for many years now. It all started because I need to find a substitute for a patient who needed visco supplementation and who was allergic to chicken. So I have to find a solution and so I called on my good friend and he introduced me to this product which is synthetically produced, which is non-animal based. And I gave it to her and she was well. There's no allergic reaction. And since then, I've been using this uh, visco supplementation for many, many years and I find it very useful because it does bring great relief to patients. Autovis is my first choice because it is of sufficient viscosity due to its high molecular weight and concentration of uh, hyaluronic acid. Relative to other products, I think it is definitely more cost effective. It's easier to sell a product which is a few hundred dollars versus to something which is close to $1,000. The safety profile is excellent. There 
there is no complications and reported thus far. I think it is good experience for myself over these many years to find some product which can give you such good outcome and therefore I have been using Monovis quite exclusively.